Welcome on Healing Today. We are a ministry of Challenge for Christ Ministries, a.k.a. Restoring Destinies Worldwide Crusades, located at 1417 Clifton Street, Raleigh, in North Carolina. Our pastors are Dr. Eric Miguel and Prophetess F. Deborah Pulte. Our mandate is to restore destinies around the globe, one soul, one family, one community, and one nation at the time. We are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ with the demonstration of the healing power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. As you tune in today, we believe this to be a defining moment, a seizing opportunity for your destiny and that your life shall no longer be the same again. Hallelujah, praise God. This is Dr. Eric Miguel Puerti welcoming you all over the world on Healing Today. And I'm really glad to have on this show my, not just a friend, not just a, a, a brother in Christ and in ministry, but a mentor and a mighty man of God, uh, which is Bishop John McCulloch. How are you doing, man of God? Amen. Thank amen, you, amen. Uh, Dr. Poitier, for having me today on uh, Healing Today. I am Bishop John uh, McCullough, uh, pastor of the Friendship Christian Church of Gastonia, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been here pastoring the Friendship Christian Church uh, for 25 years. As a matter of fact, this is our 25th year, wow. and um, we just thank God for the opportunity to Praise serve. God. And this coming June, we'll celebrate our 25th uh, anniversary. My wife is here as wow. uh, my partner in ministry, and mm -hmm. we just thank God for the opportunity to have served the people mm -hmm. in this region uh, for this number of years. God has been blessing, and uh, we just uh, are humbled to serve. Thank God for the work that you're doing. Wow, yeah, 25 years. I mean, Bishop, that means in those 25 years, I'm pretty sure you've seen the power of God moving. I'm pretty sure you've seen souls yes. being healed and you've seen God divinely restoring people. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in those 25 years, there is a lot of testimonies that you can, I mean, some of them today, we can have the sneak peek of some of those testimonies. What God has done in the ministry right here in Gastonia, how people have been touched by the word of God and the anointing to heal right here. Yes, uh, Doc, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. over these last 25 years, mm -hmm. we have really seen the, the hand of God move wow. miraculously. Amen. Um, testimonies that are so awesome. I, yes. I recall that um, we had a baby, mm. uh, a, a small infant once, and he literally uh, had a hole in his heart. Wow. And the mother brought the uh, child down to the altar after at toward the end of the worship, I remember distinctly uh, placing my hand on the baby's back. Glory. And as I prayed, I felt a thump. My God. And the thump was the filling of the heart. Mm. And they mm. went to the doctor for the report, mm. and the hole was gone. Glory to God. Yeah, glory, God glory to God. God. Wow. And my God, this is powerful, Bishop. I mean, I, can, I could feel the power of God as we were talking about uh, those healings. Yes. And I just want to encourage someone right now who is watching this program. God is about to move in your life. You may say it's only about what Bishop just said. No, it's not about just those two uh, people. There are millions of people today. God has been moving in their life and the anointing has been healing them. And I want you, as you're watching Healing Today, I want you to either call, either go online and, and, and just send us your prayer request and let us pray together and watch God doing almost, I will not say the same thing, right, Bishop, yes. but yes. doing that, that, I mean, doing his work, doing what he knows best. That's right. And God knows miracles. That's right. He knows how to heal. Absolutely. You Hallelujah. know, as the word said, he's the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and forever. Come on, man. And uh, the same power to heal uh, in the Bible yes. is the same power to heal that uh, is present with us even right now. And he's That's doing right. supernatural things um, in, in his people. Amen, amen. And you know, uh, doing the supernatural, Christians are confronted with the fact that where is faith right there? How can I deal with the fact that I'm sick as a Christian and then uh, I have to go to the doctor and I have to, do I have to trust the doctors? Do I have to trust the drugs? Or do I just have to trust God? Well, you know, uh, Pastor, 
I believe in supernatural divine healing. Yes. Sir. That's that's the first thing that we're going Amen. to do is to pray that that God would instantaneously, uh, miraculously that's right. heal right then. I that's believe right. that that's he's right. able. He's done it that Amen. way. Amen. And yet at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, I believe in the processes. Amen. I believe in the processes that, that God has empowered people to have. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we look at the example of Jesus Christ, yes, sir. Um, Jesus used different methodologies mm -hmm. in healing. That's right. Um, he used the spoken word. Mm -hmm. You remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. The uh, centurion came to That's Jesus right. and said, you know, my servant, my servant. is uh, ill. And, mm -hmm. and uh, if you would just speak the word. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was turning to go to the centurion's That's house. Right. And he said, I just I, trust the authority of that's the in your word. Yes. That if you just speak the word, yes. my servant will be healed. And Jesus noted that this man had great faith. Yes, sir. So we see the spoken word mm -hmm. as one of the methods. Mm -hmm. And then we've seen the times where uh, Jesus has laid a hand upon. Mm -hmm. You remember Peter's mother-in-law? Yes, uh, yes. The Bible says that she was lying sick mm -hmm. uh, in bed with a fever. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came in and touched her. That's right. And she she rose up, and as a and matter of fact, she began to minister and serve. <laughs> but then I'm thinking about the processes that uh, we as uh, uh, modern Christians yes. are confronted with, yes. as you said, mm -hmm. uh, the, the whether or not uh, I go to doctors mm -hmm. or if I go to the doctor, is that not having faith? faith. And uh, I think about a scripture. Mm -hmm. Over in uh, the gospel, according to St. John, yes, sir. Uh, chapter number nine, mm -hmm. there's this debate of uh, the disciples and along with Jesus come upon this man mm -hmm. uh, who was born blind. blind yes. And they asked the question of uh, who, sinned? who sinned? Was it the mother or the father That's or right. was it the man himself? But uh, as he went on to explain that uh, this man's blindness was so that uh, he could bring glory to God. Amen. in the process of the healing. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I uh, noticed is in verse number six, mm -hmm. it says, uh, when he had said these things, he spat on the ground yes. and made the clay. Yes. And he said to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, mm -hmm. which is translated sent. sent. So he went and washed and, and came okay. back seeing. Amen. Now, doctor, <laughs> I read in here yes. that this is a process. That's right. That's right? right. This was a process. And I interpret that, you know, even for our modern times, mm -hmm. that there are times that Jesus could have spoken the word. That's right. The blind man would have been healed. And yet he engages a process. Yes. Now, um, you say, well, that was his saliva. That mm -hmm. was not medication. That's that, right. Uh, he didn't go to a doctor. But I I see here that he engaged this man to to go through a process yes, sir. rather than instantaneous healing. Yeah, healing. He got his healing in the process of what Jesus instructed him to do. And you know, meditating on that scripture one day, I, I found out that in the culture of Israel, mm -hmm. it's believed that the saliva of the firstborn has My. the power to heal My. a blind person. All right. All right. <laughs> so when Christ actually took his own saliva as the firstborn yes. of the Father, right. put it on the ground and made the dust out of it to actually put it on the eyes of that man, mm -hmm. what Christ was doing was to actually change the cultural view of right. that man Absolutely. because that man knew the culture. Right. That man had a mindset, but Christ needed to change his mindset mm -hmm. to bring him out. And, and, and the good thing about going through the process yes, sir. is that, that first of all, uh, for those Christians who are really challenged as to whether or not going to the doctor mm -hmm. is uh, absence of faith. Yes. Um, the man had to still believe in Jesus. That's right. That's right. He had to still believe in the fact that whatever the process was, uh, was mm -hmm. that it was going to work. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing for medicines today. That's I right. believe that God heals instantaneously, as Amen. we've stated. Amen. But at the same time, mm -hmm. I believe that he has educated and empowered the mind yes. of man yes. uh, to develop all of these uh, uh, methods mm -hmm. uh, and processes That's right. that, that we, we know that by his stripes Amen. we're healed. Amen. They Amen. can dispense medicine. <laughs> They have uh, technology to, to discover through x-rays yes. and scans, yes. but the healing is still 
in Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. And you know, I, I have a personal testimony. Yes, sir. Um, that deals with both faith mm -hmm. and medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, at the age of 18 years old, yes, sir. Um, was literally diagnosed with something called Crohn's. Wow. Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. and. Um, mm -hmm. And so, uh, in the process, it's something that uh, attacks the digestive tract okay. and so forth. And, um, you know, I believed God mm -hmm. uh, for absolute healing. healing. I, I believed God mm -hmm. that um, he was going to take it away. And I was a young man, young mm -hmm. in faith and so yes. forth. Um, but over the course of time, it was never totally removed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet, I'm, I'm speaking to people who are instantly healed. From that disease. From, from various diseases yes. and, and issues. I'm laying hands, touching and agreeing and seeing <laughs> in the process. And yet at the same time, I am you know, dealing with this particular thing myself. Yes. That has now become a process of healing. Mm. And I've had a couple of surgeries. Mm -hmm. So I believe in the process that God has placed here. That's right. And uh, I don't think that God would have us to totally ignore the, the, the medical scientific right. breakthroughs that we have That's right. and uh, that our faith is not in the doctor. Mm -hmm. Our faith is in the God. fact that God is still able. To I use. never will forget that uh, I had a surgery mm -hmm. and um, the surgeon came in afterwards and everything went wonderful. Mm. And um, he came in and said, uh, you know, I did a great piece of work. Mm. And I said, you know, God, Use you, Amen. Amen. To do this work, Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. and so, so the, we we have to see the merger, yes, of faith in medicine. That's right, and all the breakthroughs that we that's have. That's right. That's right. And and uh, concerning that, sir, I would say that uh, uh, I remember uh, one time uh, myself, I was having some stuff on my face. I don't know exactly what it was, but somebody prayed for me and. Uh, my face would just keep on going. The rashes on my face would just keep on growing. And I couldn't understand what it was, the problem. I prayed over it, and someone prayed for me, and I believed. The very moment they prayed, I believed that I was healed. Mm -hmm. But then the curious thing was the rashes were still there. Right. So what did I do? I, I just believed mm -hmm. that I'm healed. And two weeks after the person prayed for me, my mom called me and said, Eric, I just bought some soap for you. Can you come and take them? I said, okay. I went there, picked up the soap, and uh, started washing my face with it. By, I mean, two days or three days, everything was gone. Wow. So what happened? What happened was my healing was appropriated mm -hmm. the very moment I believed right. in the Lord. Right. But the manifestation of it yes. had to go through the process. That's and, and I think that's where Paul, even Paul, talking to Timothy, said, uh, because of your uh, problem of stomach, mm -hmm. I want you to take right. some wine, yes. you know, and right. which was the fruit of the vine. Uh, we have to be clear yes. a little bit yes. on that. We don't want and anybody medicinal to Medicinal purpose. It was a medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for medicine, I want you to take some of it mm -hmm. for your stomach. Yes. I mean, Paul could pray for it. Absolutely. This is someone who saw, who healed, I mean, who, who raised somebody from the dead. Right. This is somebody that God has used many times. Yes. But curiously, concerning his spiritual son, he said, I want you to use this as medicine for you. Amen. And Amen. God will be, uh, was glorified That's through right. the use of it. That's so right. we really see, like you said, many times in the Word of God, we see uh, the Lord moving in people's life, mm -hmm. not just through uh, uh, the prayer of faith, mm -hmm. but as well through, uh, 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 through the healing of even herbs or the healing of the use of medicine, right. the, the doctors. Yeah. And the reason I believe it's from God is the fact that God is the creator of everything. Yeah. He created heaven and earth. Yeah. He created every herbs. He created man. He gave us the intelligence. Absolutely. So therefore, I mean, all, all glory goes back to him that's because right. of that. Yeah, and I think that's the most important part of whether it's the uh, instantaneous healing. Yes, sir. Or it's the healing through a process mm -hmm. of time mm -hmm. or through some medical breakthrough mm -hmm. is that we still have to always remember to glorify God. Yes, you yes, know, yes. God gets the glory. Amen. And uh, it does not diminish our faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, it Because if we don't have faith 
even in when it comes to medical. If we don't have faith, the treatment won't work. That's right. If I don't have faith when I'm praying, it won't work either. Right. If I don't have faith when I'm taking the, 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 the supplement or the food supplement, nothing will work. But faith, I think faith is the common denominator for all the three yeah. categories of yeah. healing. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And um, one thing that really the Holy Spirit pressed upon me yes, sir. for people um, that when you are believing God, whether mm -hmm. it's through medication or instantaneous healing, mm -hmm. is not to panic at a symptom. Yes. All yes, right? that's right. Because the symptom may show up mm -hmm. and it'll cause you to begin to back away from your faith. That's right. And so you have to pray right through the yes, symptom sir. and to believe God mm -hmm. that this thing is manifesting yes. and that it is coming to pass. Yeah. So, so divine healing can also come through process. Yes. It is true the Bible says immediately Jesus healed. Yes. Immediately Jesus healed. Yes. Immediately Jesus healed. But we have also many places where the Bible speak about the process. Absolutely. of healing. Yeah. But what help is, like you said, Bishop, we don't have to panic when the symptoms tries to come back in. Yeah. Because what the enemy is doing is to use the symptoms right. to let us get off of our faith right. and start believing that, oh, God, here comes again. This yeah. sickness is coming back right. again. That's but right. if I keep on believing, yes. if I don't uh, lose a faith, if yeah. I don't, just like Peter, Walking on the water. Right. The Bible says, he said, at your word, yeah. I will walk. Yeah. And as he was walking, mm -hmm. I believe Peter walked as far as uh, uh, where Jesus was. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the Bible says, as he was looking at Jesus, he was walking. But then looking around, suddenly he started drowning. Yeah. But then I, I always wonder, from the place where Jesus took him and pulled him out of the water to the place of where the boat was. Jesus didn't carry Peter. Now Peter was walking with Jesus. He walked Amen. back. All right. He walked back with All Jesus right. to the boat. That's a good point. Jesus never carried him. Mm -hmm. So what happened was what? Because he lost focus mm -hmm. on Christ Jesus, automatically Peter began to drown. But if you don't lose focus today, you who is watching us, listening to what we're talking about, if you don't lose focus, but you look at Christ, if you look at the one who is your redeemer, if you look at that one who, who came to die on the cross for you, the Bible says, by his stripes, we are healed, healed. Bishop. Amen. We are healed. We, we will not be. We are healed right now. But then there is a process of healing. Yes. And the divine healing is still possible, even in that process. Absolutely. Even in that process. But some people sometimes, they just think, no, maybe I lost my faith. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, uh, and I said that many times. I shared my testimony many times. I was epileptic. Mm -hmm. And when Christ came in my life, he healed me. Just like that. Yes. But until now, it's still a process. What am I saying is still a process. One of the things, the, the, the witch doctors, because in those years, 1980s, uh, my mom, she brought me to the witch doctors. And uh, over there, what they said was, uh, it was an accumulation of, I don't know, of stuff inside of me that every time I would sit, uh, uh, they, I have to throw it up. Mm -hmm. And they gave me some potion to drink and this and that. And, but when I accepted Christ, I told my mom, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I have to believe in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And by the time I believe in Christ, until today, it's more than 20 years, I've been healed. However, I will, sometimes the enemy, I will feel some symptoms mm -hmm. trying to come back or mm -hmm. crawl back in. Yeah. And what I will do is I will just laugh at the devil. Yes. I will just say, ha, ha, devil, you're a liar. That's right. I am healed. Mm -hmm. I don't go to God. I don't pray. I don't say, Father, come on. You healed me 2,000 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Or you healed me when I accepted you. Why am I feeling this again? No. Yeah. I just thank God for my healing now. That's right. And you know what? It never manifested. Yeah. I never had any more Caesar That's right. since I accepted Christ in my yeah, life. Yeah. So I believe uh, uh, the symptoms part, like you said, uh -huh. play a, a big role in the life of yeah, people yeah. to push us out of faith right. or to keep us in faith. That's right. Because a symptom mm -hmm. can 
prompt fear. Yes, yes, I and, like that. Yeah. And fear, of mm -hmm. course, we know that's not of God. He's <laughs> that's not right. giving that's us right. the spirit of fear, but that's of love, right. power, and a sound mind. Amen. And uh, fear brings torment. Yes. All right? And fear is a distraction. Yes. And so whenever a symptom shows up, a, it's just the trick of the enemy mm -hmm. that that is trying to distract you mm -hmm. from your focus. Yes, and that's where the power of your confession comes in. I believe. Yes, yes, that, that you make the confession, as mm -hmm. you said. I confess that mm -hmm. yes, I am healed. Yes. I confess that it's done. I confess that God is manifesting mm. uh, through me. Yes, and I'm walking out my healing. Amen. All right, Amen. and um, it's just like salvation. Mm -hmm. All right, we are saved. Mm -hmm. And we are being saved. That's right. And ultimately, we shall, we be, shall saved, be saved. Yes. Right? And so it's the same thing, whether it's deliverance. Yes. Whether it's healing. Yes. Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we were delivered. Mm -hmm. We're continuously being delivered. And we shall. And we shall. That's right. So that's right. It, yeah, I think that um, we have to really encourage people to, to stay with their faith. Yes. And to trust God mm -hmm. uh, in these processes for for healing, yes, sir. and I still call it divine. Amen, amen, amen. And like you said, Bishop, fear. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, 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 I define fear as false evidence appearing real. Yes. It's just false evidence. That's right. People always said, yeah, but pastor, you don't understand. I've been coughing this, or you don't understand. Mm -hmm. I've been coughing blood, and they told me when you cough blood, that means this, that mm -hmm. means that. Mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. that coughing blood, I mean, it's real. It's real. But I want you to know that this is as if it's appearing real. It's, it's a false evidence. Mm -hmm. The true evidence, it's in your faith to believe that Christ paid it all on the cross. Mm -hmm. And to believe that through the medicine, through the doctors, God is still healing even right now and even today in That's this right. generation. That's right. Yes. Well, well, thank you so much, Doctor. And I, I, I also agree um, with anyone who is watching and um, you've been dealing with mm -hmm. uh, some illness yes, and sir. you've been under some attack. Mm -hmm. I still believe that through the power of the Word of God mm -hmm. that you can speak and decree and God will bring forth your healing, mm -hmm. whether it's divine yes. and instantaneous, mm -hmm. or whether it's through a process. Yes. It does not diminish your faith. Amen. Our hope and our trust is still in our God. Amen. And I thank God for the wisdom of man. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like anything else. Uh, God has given man wisdom to, to create aircrafts. Yes. And, and Walk uh, on we, the moon. We, yeah, we've <laughs> done all of these wonderful things, and he's given man the wisdom mm -hmm. uh, how to make applications application to bring the body back to health, mm -hmm. but it's still God Amen. because we believe in his power. Yes. No. Now, Father, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus yes. Christ, yes. I speak now to every person yes. who is watching this program, Hallelujah. who is uh, observing this broadcast. Yes, Lord. And when the enemy has come in mm -hmm. uh, to attack their body, mm -hmm. I thank you for your divine favor and mm -hmm. power. Yes. We believe that the blood of Jesus is against that, he that issue. Mm -hmm. And we speak right now the words of faith yes. right now yes. that by his stripes, yes. you are healed. Hallelujah. And you begin to confess. Glory. I am healed. Yes. And I agree with you. Ah. Dr. Portier agrees with yes. you that the power has just come into your yes. room and that you're being transformed yes. right now. God is raising you up. Amen. And you're going to walk in health mm. and divine healing yes. in Jesus' in name. Jesus' pray. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Friend, if you have prayed that prayer with mighty friend and mentor, Bishop John, I know that you are healed and you shall be a testimony. Send us your testimony please partner with us and god will bless you remember healing divine healing even through the process is still for today we love you god bless you bye-bye